two cells of EMF E1 and E2. Here we are given two cell of EMF E1 and E2 such that E1 is greater than E2 and they are connected in this manner. See here, here two cells are connected in such a way that their negative terminals are connected together. Means the net EMF of this combination is difference of EMF of two cell. Now see one by one what is given. When potentiometer is connected between A and B. Potentiometer is connected between point A and B. So between point A and B what is the net EMF? Net EMF is E1. So when potentiometer is connected between A and B. The balancing length of potentiometer wire is 300 centimeter. Means for the EMF E1, the corresponding balancing length L1 is equal to 300 centimeter. Okay. Now later on, for the EMF E1, corresponding balancing length of potentiometer wire is 300 centimeter. Now later on, it was given that by connecting the same potentiometer between between what? Between point A and C. See here, this is point A, this is point C. Between point A and C. Here two cells are connected in such a manner that their negative terminals are made common. Means EMF of two cells oppose each other. So the net EMF between point A and C, it is difference of EMF of two cells. And also it was given that E1 is greater than E2. So here we can say the net EMF between point A and that of C, it is E1 minus of E2. And the corresponding balancing length L2, it is given as 100 centimeter. It is given as what? 100 centimeter. According to principle of potentiometer, this E1 is proportional to L1 or E1 is equal to KL1. E1 is equal to what? KL1. Whereas E1 minus E2, E1 minus E2. That is when potentiometer is connected between point A and C. E1 minus E2 is proportional to balancing length L2. Or here E1 minus of E2 is equal to K into L2. Where K represents potential gradient of potentiometer wire. Now take the ratio of equation 1 with equation 2. So what we will get E1 divided by E1 minus E2 is equal to L1 divided by L2. What is the value of L1 given? It is 300 divided by L2 is 100. So this 0 get cancelled with 0 and cross multiply these. So we will get E1 is equal to 3 into E1 minus of E2 or is equal to 3 E1 minus of 3 E2. Take this minus 3E2 to this side. So 3E2 is equal to 3E1 and when this E1 taken to the right hand side, it becomes minus E1. So that is equal to 2 times E1. So therefore, now E1 divided by E2 is equal to here 3 divided by 2. 3E2 equal to 2E1. Take this E2 in the denominator. Take this 2 in this denominator. So final answer E1 divided by E2, the ratio E1 by E2 is equal to 3 divided by 2. So the correct option for this question it is B, 3 divided by 2.